James Kaufman, World News Report, today, March 28, 2025. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, we had a very long-term flare. It was an X 1.14 solar flare. Coming from a newly named sunspot group of 4046 that's just coming around the limb to face Earth. Now you can be assured that this was a much stronger solar flare than it looks. Again, it came in as an X 1.14, but it was much, much larger and more than partially eclipsed by the incoming portion or limb of our sun. Also I want to show you how it stayed in the M territory here for approximately three hours. Wow. Jumping over to Space Weather Live. They've got that X 1.14. They have two flares from the same sunspot uh, during the same period of time. So I've never seen anything like that. Doesn't make much sense, but maybe they know something that we don't. 4046 just popped off with another M1. As soon as it got below the M solar flare threshold, it popped right above it. Now, that's been one of our very active sunspots. The other one is 4043. A little bit more complicated. It had given us some problems yesterday. And, well, we didn't have any huge flares from 4043, but it is a beta gamma sunspot. Currently, we have a 20% chance of having an X-class solar flare. And remember, this is a simple sunspot. There's no complexity to this. 50% chance of an M-class solar flare. And we're maintaining a strong C baseline as always. So 100% chance of having a C class solar flare. All right, here is Noah's summary and R3 strong radio blackout. Solar flare occurred on the 28th of March. And it was a 1.1 X flare. It peaked at 1520 UTC time. And we'll read a little bit about it down here. A strong solar flare along with the R3 radio blackout occurred and peaked with an X 1.1 near 1120 AM Eastern time, 1520 UTC time on March 28, 2025. The flare occurred from the vicinity of a newly rotating into view region 4046 near the east limb left side of the solar disk. The flare was associated with a blast of solar material from the area as seen in this GOES 16 image. So the solar flare created a huge chrome S ejection. You can see here it's moving out of the picture and nowhere near Earth, but it is a very impressive eruption and I do, do see two loops. So spaceweatherlive.com might have gotten it right. There might have been two almost simultaneous explosions from that sunspot group. We should all be thankful that that was not Earth directed because that was some flare. You can see it right here coming around the limb. It will be Earth directed very soon, maybe about three days. And you can see how long this solar flare lasted. There was a lot of plasma pushed out into space in the form of a coronal mass ejection here. Again, luckily not headed towards Earth because of the position of the solar flare itself. And this was probably a much stronger solar flare than it's indicated on our GOES satellite because it's more than partially eclipsed 
by the limb of the incoming solar disk. So to get our bearings over to HMI Intensigram, we see that we have six sunspots Earth facing basically. One of them is a beta gamma sunspot group, produced some M flares yesterday. And our new sunspot that just produced an X flare is right here, 4046. And I'm guessing that it's got, well, more activity to introduce us to. All right, everyone's getting their ample dose of radiation. We moved over to our absorption prediction center. And we see about 1520 here. Once we get there, should be the peak right about there. And the peak of the solar flare was mainly over the Atlantic Ocean, the east coast of the U.S., but more so Brazil, Venezuela, maybe some of the Caribbean, maybe uh, the outer lane islands, the lesser Antilles. So in summary, what do we have? We had a strong X-class solar flare, probably stronger than it appeared on our ghost satellite. It did create a chrome mass ejection. It won't be headed towards Earth. This looks like a dangerous sunspot group, and it will soon be Earth-facing within the next 72 hours or so. With that said, God bless you and yours. Please share, please subscribe, and always remember that anything's possible in the bizarro world.